I'm Giles Tilley, CEO of GemBio Inc. I invite you to join me on an exciting journey as our company undertakes a novel research program with the purpose of developing the next generation of anti-inflammatory drugs. It's a bold claim, but one supported by a series of amazing events. In 2007, in a remote tropical region of Australia, a new natural extract was discovered which displayed outstanding phytochemical possibilities. In consequence, the extract was sent initially to Brisbane and then to other laboratories across Australia for further scientific investigation. The results were simply amazing. So much so that in 2018, the extract was brought to the United States for corroboration and to confirm that these results were as outstanding as scientists believed they were. The US confirmed as much and further made another significant breakthrough with critically important ramifications for medical science. It is GenBio's mission to now undertake a new novel research program to bring an entirely new generation of anti-inflammatory drugs to the market. This is timely. Our drugs aim to be way more effective, but at the same time will be less toxic to the human body. In other words, lower cardiovascular and lower gastrointestinal effects. We also believe through our research in viral replication that we have an important role to play in mitigating the potential devastating effects associated with COVID-19. It is therefore critical that the company seeks additional funding to undertake the research program without delay. Our Inflamex trademark and patented molecule is the basis for future research. And incidentally, all our research is protected by trademarks and patents. Thank you. From this Australian extract, GenBio has patented a unique molecule called Inflamex. And the research on this molecule is showing that it has remarkable anti-inflammatory activity for a range of chronic disease states in humans. The aim therefore is to develop a range of products that will effectively decrease the risk, the incidence of these inflammatory diseases in the 21st century.